Hi there, my name is Matt Lansdowne and I'm from Whangarei, one of the leaders at Bethel Church in Whangarei. And uh, I just want to share with you what's on my heart for Aotearoa. And I'm super excited to be um, in our nation at this time in our national history. We have, uh, God's doing incredible things in our nation. And God spoke to me uh, a little while ago and I went into a vision where, in the vision I got, um, this kind of uh, open vision, trance kind of encounter thing where I got taken up into this um, cloud and I was in this cloud and this cloud was filled with angels and um, it was a presence of God, it was like the glory cloud of God and I was sitting on the edge of this cloud and um, at the time I was living in Redding, California and I was sitting in the cloud and to, to my um, left hand side Jesus was sitting on the cloud and our feet were kind of dangling over the edge of the cloud and we're looking down and, and underneath us was um, New Zealand, it was the, the land of New Zealand and it just looked, when we were looking down, it, it just looked like um, a desert, it looked like just dirt, there was no trees, there were no people, it was just um, a desert um, outline of New Zealand just beneath us and we're sitting there on the cloud and, and Jesus looked over at me and he said, hey Matt, what, what do you think, he had a cheeky look on his face and he said, what do you think about going back to New Zealand? And I said, uh, what came out of my mouth was um, not something I thought about saying. It just came out of my mouth in the encounter. It was, I said, it would be a lot easier if this cloud was down there. And uh, next thing you know, I'm down on the, on the ground and, um, and I'm out of the cloud. I'm on the land now and, I, and I, in the encounter I picked up this, this shell that was on the, in the ground. And I picked it up and it was like a putatara, it was a trumpet. Um, kind of a conch shell thing and I blew into it and then I got, came back up into the cloud and, um, and, and I watched New Zealand and, and the ripples started to go up and down New Zealand and I saw this army start to rise up out of the land of New Zealand. Not, not, uh, not an army that came from other countries, not a whole bunch of external people coming in from you know the USA or, or, um, or anywhere else from Australia or anywhere else it was it was a it was a genuine um, it, Aotearoa army that was rising up out of the land of the people of New Zealand rising up into into who they are and into their destiny into their calling and they rose up right from the bottom right to the top they just rose up all over the, out of what seemed like there was nothing there they just rose right up out of the nothingness and became this huge mighty massive army ready to be sent to the nations ready for anything and um, and God said to me, what you hear in the secret place, shout from the rooftops and I'll raise an army up out of this land. And, and uh, you know, we're Aotearoa. Our identity is in our name. Uh, we're the land of the long bright cloud. We're the land of the long white cloud. And we're called as a nation to be a, a nation of people that carry the manifest presence of God, that carry the glory of God, that carry that cloud that I was sitting in, in the, in the initial parts of that encounter. We're called to literally carry that cloud along with all the angelic that, that, that hang out in that cloud. And we're called to literally be a, a generation of Jacob that lift up our heads and see the King of glory, the Lord of hosts, come in to our nation through us and around us. And, and to see that the angelic begin, to, begin to, uh, to, to release the grace of God over our nation. To see heaven fully come right over and baptize our nation. Um, that we are Aotearoa. And, uh, and I feel like um, we are on the very, we are on the, 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 the doorstep of seeing this. There's pockets of people all over New Zealand that are, beginning to, that are beginning to rise up out of the land and are beginning to be people that carry the cloud. And uh, in the cloud there comes on people and I've talked to people all over the nation now. There's p literally pockets of people that are rising up everywhere, all over the nation that are just so thrilled to be carrying the cloud that have that have awoken into this new reality of life with God, this new uh, reality, this new awareness of the love and the grace of God. And, um, and uh, it's just incredible. One of the things that happens in the cloud is that people begin to get a fascination. Um, they begin to become obsessed with the face of God, with who God is, with just how amazing God is. And they just become gobsmacked and, and, and blown away by the goodness of God. And uh, it's like Moses. Moses was in this tent. Um, he pitched his tent outside the camp and, and uh, the cloud came around him and it was in the cloud that he had 
face to face with God and we're called to be a, a nation that carries a cloud in the in the cloud gathers around a bunch of people that choose to just live a life gazing at his face live the face to face life that we're Aotearoa the land of the face to face and the land that's called to carry the cloud and um, uh, if I've got time to share one little story um, to illustrate this I feel like we are waking up to this as a nation and it's amazing to see people wake up to this and uh, I'm addicted to seeing people wake up to this new reality to the reality of God and the love of God and we were at a, a school and there was a kid that came up to me this was about a month ago and, and he had uh, he was 14 years old and for 10 years he had had 9 to 10 out of 10 back pain in his lower back um, totally crippled him I mean he couldn't um, you know, he couldn't play sports with his friends, he couldn't do all the normal things that a 14 year old kid was meant to be able to do. And he came up to me and asked me to pray for him. And he kind of looked, the look on his face was like, I'm not sure if I'm, anything's going to happen, but I might as well give it a go. And so uh, I got his friends to lay hands on him and we prayed for him. And his, his head was bowed down and, and I said, you know, we finished praying for him and he lifted his head up and he just had tears streaming down his cheeks. And he said, I can't feel any pain. All the pain is completely gone. Ten years of back pain completely gone. And he's trying to figure it out because he's forgotten what it's like to have no pain. So he's trying to figure out, is this really what it's like to have no pain? And he's trying to figure it out and, and his eyes just start getting wider and wider and wider like a possum stuck in headlights. As he is becoming overwhelmed by this new reality that's just come upon him. He's awoken into this reality of the cloud and that the face of God is faced towards him. and so. What I want to say is, um, if you're not awake already, just get ready to be woken up into this glorious love of God that's all around you. And uh, we as a nation are rising up, and we're rising up so fast, and I'm just so excited to be in this awakening movement in Aotearoa. And um, we are living in exciting days, and there are even more exciting days ahead. So God bless you, Aotearoa New Zealand.